All right. We're rocking and rolling now. Well, um, glad to see everyone here. Nice turnout again. So my talk is going to be about how I transitioned from a mailman, letter carrier, to WordPress and uh, the journey along the way. A little bit about myself, I'm just going to reiterate what Jason said. I'm associate software engineer at Penske Media Corporation. I'm a former letter carrier for the United States Postal Service. I'm a husband, proud father of two boys. Uh, that's my LinkedIn and GitHub if anyone wants to connect later. Slides are available if you need, want to check it out as well. And I'm just going to go over the roadmap. I'm going to going to talk about just the idea of how I wanted to change careers and then my process going to a boot camp and then, you know, along comes WordPress, how I even got involved in the WordPress community, going to meetups and um, WordCamp as well, and then finally the changing in careers. And uh, if, if anyone has some questions, I'm sure gladly to be able to take some questions afterwards. So let's get started. So the idea to change careers. So uh, I never was really a technical person. I did have a uh, background in music production. So that was like my first kind of foray into like software because everything was, is with music, uh, you, software based, everything kind of transitioned from hardware to software. So that was my first kind of dabble with software and development. And in the era of MySpace, I don't know, I'm dating myself. Anybody remember MySpace? <laughs> Ooh, that's, what, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, di different time, good times, right? So in the era of MySpace, there, you know, you could kind of like really trick out your MySpace page instead of, you know, having like a generic MySpace page. So one of my friends, another like freelance music producer, he, uh, he, he made it so nice. It's like, I was like, man, how, how'd you get it so nice? He was like, oh, you know, a little CSS, HTML. And I was like, what? What's that? So uh, I go to uh, W3 schools and kind of was messing around with that. And I just was like, man, this, uh, this, this is kind of boring. So I was like, I, I'm ditching this. So fast forward like years later, years later, um, I was kind of working on a musical project, helping someone out, and I stumbled upon a Squarespace page. Squarespace, and I used that, and I was like, oh, you know, I kind of want to trick this out, like the MySpace pages I used to see. And I said, you know what, let me, let me get back into this. Let me get back into, you know, pursuing this HTML, CSS thing, whatever that is. And so I stumbled upon Free Code Camp, and I kind of... It wasn't as boring anymore. It was like, okay, this is this is pretty cool. This is I could you know I could vibe with this, but I just felt I needed more structure. And right around that time, I want to say this is probably like 2016, 17. A, a term kept coming up. I kept hearing boot camp. I was like, what's a boot camp? So apparently, the boot camp was an accelerated. Kind of, see, I don't want to say a CS degree because I mean, God forbid, uh, someone who has a CS degree, they're probably like, "What? No, a boot camp? What? No, no, it's not the same. It's not the same." So I'm not going to say that. I don't want to get beat up after this. So uh, they just kind of accelerate. They, the key components that are needed in uh, software development, they give you that as opposed to everything else. So to just kind of get you fast tracked. And at the time, a lot of them were like 12 weeks. Some were. Some were even shorter than that. Uh, but it, was, it had to be in person. So I, I just was like, I can't, I can't afford to go full time and do that. So I just kept, and kind of just kept going with the free code camp and you know, self-teaching. And then the pandemic happened. And everyone was kind of lives changed. So and everything became online. So then I, then finally I said, okay, here's an opportunity. I think it's time. I think I could re, re, uh, engage that idea of going to a boot camp. So I'm going to a boot camp. <laughs> so 
And let me tell you that that facial expression, that's that's how it feels. But so I, I stumbled upon this aggregator called Career Karma where they help people who do want to get into tech find a proper boot camp. Because now around this time, this is like 2019, 2020, uh, the boot camp thing is kind of taken is taken off. And there's some there's some not so nice uh people who are offering boot camps and they're it's kind of getting to a place where it's getting a little predatory. So here comes this place, Career Karma, who kind of wants to really help people guide them through the whole process. So I go through them, I find a I find a boot camp that kind of can coincide with me working full time, where I could kind of like where I could put in about four to three hours in the morning, three at night. So I was doing all this and my second son was born in the middle of it. So it it was it was intense. It was intense. And plus, you know, the you know, the the, the early stages of co COVID nineteen, which was scary for everyone. So but I just I just persevered, persevered, spoke to a lot of software engineers and uh heard about different technology and just I was just kind of soaking it in. I was just like, okay, let me I want to learn as much as I can. And then I, I hear like whispers of WordPress. WordPress. Now now back in that MySpace age, I heard about WordPress then too, but I didn't understand it. I know there was WordPress.com and I kind of fiddled with that. I was like, I, I I don't I don't get it. So but I just heard whispers of WordPress. And I was I was intrigued. I was like, okay, let me find out about this WordPress. Um, you know, and along comes WordPress with his hand out, open, <laughs> ready, ready to embrace. So I was like, oh, you know, WordPress, like what's what you're about? But then I started asking people, those same like engineers I was meeting in. I said, what's up with WordPress? Like, what do you think about it? They said, pump the brakes. What did you say? WordPress? No, 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 WordPress, no way, no way. You know what WordPress is built with, right? PHP, no way, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. And I heard, oh, I heard it all. And I'm sure everyone has heard them too. So, but we're gonna, for fun, we're gonna go over them and laugh as we go over them. First one, it's a dying language. It's a dying language. It's been dying for 20 years, apparently. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's one. Another one. Real devs don't use WordPress. Oh boy, that is that's offensive. That's offensive. That's that's offensive. And so untrue. So untrue. There's no money in it as well. That's even more laughable, right? Right. And uh. My favorite, you won't find work. That's, uh, but still, I heard, I heard all of these comments, and I just was, you know, I'm still. WordPress has its hand out. I'm, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go see what it's about. I want to find out what's up with WordPress. So, I heard about meetups, and I heard that was a good way to network and meet other people who are in the same interest of you, same interest that you have. So it's the you know it's in a pandemic. Everything's online anyway. So I was like, let me see if there's like some kind of networking for, you know, engineering or anything like that. And then, boo, I see Word WordPress Montclair meetup. I was like, Montclair is not too far from me. I'm, it's online anyway. Let me just go. Let me let me check it out. Let me see what's it about. You know. And. I want to talk about the power of meetups, right? My son, by the way, he, he encouraged me to put this one in here, this picture in here. So the power of meetups. So I go and I see, I see Mike, I see Cameron, I see Jason. I don't know anybody, anybody. I have my camera off <laughs> and, um, getting my son ready for bed. And uh, it was my turn to kind of introduce myself. I let him know like, hey, you know, I, I'm in a boot camp now. I'm 
just, you know, really getting into software development and, you know, I heard about WordPress. I just, I just kind of want to find more, more things out. And Mike, Michael Terry, we have a very similar story. So it was kind of like a kindred spirit. And he was like, hey, you know, I used to, used to work for the post office back in the day when I was in college. I, you know, did it, you know, in the summer. Um, and I, too, transitioned. I, I'm, I, I don't have that whole CS degree thing. And uh, we kind of bonded over that. And Montclair was so cool, the WordPress, that because of the pandemic, there was a Slack plugin called Donut that did a random one-on-one -on -one meeting. Uh, and, you know, as fate will have it, Mike and I, that was my first donut. So I'm, I'm, in, a, I'm in my mail truck and uh, turn my phone on and we, we talk and he, he dispels all the rumors of WordPress. He's like, what? No. You know, you could do X, Y, and Z with WordPress. You know, I just I was like, I heard it was just like a page builder. No, well, you could do that too. You could extend it. It's, it's really flexible. And he was like, you know, you know what you could do is, why don't you take like this course, look into this, and check out WordPress. Like, see, see how it is. See how it is. So you know, I was diving into WordPress, and of course, I still heard those whispers. What WordPress? You, you and I just, I just ignored it. I just kind of kept on the side along with the boot camp. So after that meeting, I just was going through the boot camp and. You know, kept kept in touch with with Mike and everyone else in the WordPress community, Montclair meetup, and you know, we're just going through the motions of uh, the boot camp, and then finally, I was able to finish it. And one thing that I I did was I you know I said you know um, let me let me be a little bit more active on LinkedIn. So I was on LinkedIn and I kind of was used the strategy learning out loud. So things that I didn't know well, I said, you know, this is a challenge. Let me start doing this online more, more so. And that caught Mike's attention. And so Mike and I continued to be in further uh, communication. And one night he invited me over. He was like, hey, why don't you come over? Because uh, I was interested in a position that he at his company. I said, hey, are, are they hiring? And he was like, well, we want a guy who's kind of like more experienced and has a little bit more um, knowledge, but why don't you come over and like, well, you know, I'll, I'll talk to you, let you know like how things work. And I, I, you know, I thought that was awesome. And then around that time, we're getting ready for Montclair WordCamp. So, I'm oblivious to everything, so I don't I don't know what a word camp is. I you know I'm I'm like, well, like what's a word camp? I don't know, but you know I'm gonna volunteer for it. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna volunteer for it. And I really didn't know that you know this was the first word camp at, you know post pandemic, so it was gonna be pretty pretty huge. So, but that's when you know an opportunity came about. So. I'm at WordCamp, and we're kind of, you know, just getting things ready. And Laura, who is awesome, Laura always is kind of like, hey, Kayla, why don't you, why don't you try that? Why don't you do this? Try that. And uh, she was like, hey, Kayla, why don't you, you know, present the speakers? I was like, oh, like MC a little bit? All right, you know, I'll do it. And it so happens that uh, Penske was one of the sponsors last year, so... Uh, Mike's boss and my boss as well. <laughs> um, uh, Gabriel comes and he's t he tends to work camp and work camp was was awesome last year. It was the first one after post pandemic. It was great. It was my first time. Wonderful people. And then uh, Mike comes to me. He was like, "Hey, listen, I've got an idea." I kind of spoke to Gabriel. He said, "He goes, you know." Why don't we do this? Why don't like we give you some like tickets in the backlog and you you kind of work kind of work on them on your you know on your spare time 
see how it goes. You know, let's just give a shot. So when I heard that, my, my ears perked. I said, wow, all right. This is, this is a shot. I'm going to take advantage of it. And I, I know, I think I could do it. Because if I could go through that boot camp, getting up at 2, 3 in the morning because my newborn, you know, his uh, sleep pattern is not there. I was like, you know, I think I, could, I think I could do this. I think I could handle this. So here we go. <laughs> so that's my setup. That's my setup in the mail truck. So I said to myself, you know, you know, I asked Mike, I said before before I say to myself, I said, hey Mike, what like what, what are you guys looking for with these tickets? He was like, hey, you know, see how it is, you know, um, get a feel. And then in my mind, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna really uh make the most out of this opportunity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same schedule that I had with the boot camp. I'm going to do three to four in the morning, two to three at night. And I, I'm going to, I want it, I want the team to feel like I'm there, like I'm part of the team, like that I'm not part-time, like I'm just like doing these tickets like in a silo, that I'm like really engaged. So I said, you know what, I'll, through my lunch breaks, I, I'll use that for stand up. So, stand up, I would use my own on my lunch breaks, or if it was really hectic, if it was like a ticket that needed to really go out, I would just kind of take a quick 10 minute, look it over, but I'll push it out. And then the only challenge was grooming. Grooming is where we kind of vet the tickets and see, you know, the scope them out see you know how long it's going to take how we should point them uh so my trick for that was i would have the laptop to vote so we got we have to vote and then i would do my loop and have so kind of have like the laptop was had had the, the jira and then my phone had the zoom so i would have the the letters in between the phone with the with the with the camera turned off, of course, because I was like, I they, they can't see this. So, <laughs> and I would do a loop. So by the time I would get back to the loop, it was time to vote. So then I would hustle back in the truck and then do my vote, go back. So to just really be a part of the team, and I learned so much, and I had such gracious uh, teammates. One of them is here. Nyan is in the audience. She's awesome uh, and really helped me. Mike really uh, mentored me and t showed me the ropes and showed me how to, how to really work and communicate. So that went, on for, that went on for about six months and it was great. I enjoyed it, I loved it. And in that time I grew to love, love WordPress and was just blown away by what you can do with it. And like, why isn't everybody using? Well, I, yeah, well, forty percent of the, the internet uses. It, but I was just blown away by PHP and WordPress and everything you could do with it, and just was just like really taken aback why people didn't embrace it. But you know, who knows? But anyway, so then I get um. Some news from Mike. So Mike, usually I have my camera off all the time because I was like, I don't want to, I don't want them to see the grittiness of of mail delivery. This is gritty. <laughs> this is pretty gritty stuff. So I had my camera off, and Mike was like, Hey, you know, Caleb, let me uh talk to you for a second. And prior to that, uh, Mike invited me to come to the office a few times and uh, meet with Gabriel, uh, meet with Jenny, and really uh getting to see how PMC does things. And it was such a, it was, so PMC was like an extension of WordPress, the community, how the WordPress was community is so open and welcoming and wanting to teach, wanting to embrace you wherever you are. You could not know anything, you could know a lot and WordPress has a place for you. It's the same way when I would go into PMC, I was like, wow, this WordPress just, 
community just extends to to everything. Um, so fast forward a bit to so the mic, you know, I'm in the truck, and he goes, "Hey, I want to want to talk to you," you know. Um, he was like, "So I talked to talked to Jenny, talked to Gabriel, and we want to want to make you an offer." So you know, I was I was ecstatic. So I had to turn my camera on for that. I was like, I had to turn it on for this. This is gritty. You know, I turned it on. You saw the the mail all over the place, the the hundred year old truck. It was all good. <laughs> it was all good. So so fine. So it was able to you able to transition careers, and this is all from this beautiful community and beautiful piece of software that has helped everyone kind of live out their dreams in the sense of whatever ideas they have, they could just bring it out. And I was just, I was just blown away by the community and just the people and just how WordPress extends itself out into the world and it continues to do so. And um, I just, I was, I was glad that I didn't listen to those voices because that's, you know, sometimes you could hear people say things and it could affect you. And you could say, oh, well, you know what, I'm gonna take this person's advice. Or sometimes things could be motivated purely by the money and instead of the joy of doing something. And that's another key to um, thing that I really enjoy, started to really enjoy using WordPress and really having these ideas and really seeing them out in the world. Um, so it was just just all that whole culmination was just just mind blowing to me. Uh, but I do have some tips um, for anyone who wants to change careers and kind of has either trepidations or just wants to know how like how would you do how would you start uh so one of my tips first is um if you go in a self taught route which i think a lot of people in the room have have done and i think it's a that's an amazing route as well and i would two things um that i found is partic and this is particularly one of them is particularly if you want to get into wordpress or even if you are a seasoned dev too i think Laura Cast is really great, especially um, Laravel is like taking off. I think Laravel is kind of has has people warmed up to PHP again. A uh, hundred a hundred devs is a an online free style of boot camp. So it I put it it's, it is sort of a boot camp, but it it is self taught. It's done by this guy named Leon Noel, who's like an amazing guy. During the pandemic, he he figured out he figured, hey, let me let me do a boot camp for free because he start he's a part of a boot camp. I think it's in the Boston area, Massachusetts area. He said, whatever I what I'm teaching there, I'm gonna just give it for free. And he created a great community and some of the strategies he even said I incorporated, um, which was like learning out loud and things of that nature. So I definitely would check that out. Uh, another advice I would say is learn in public. Um, show what you're learning. That could be on social media. I, I use LinkedIn. You could spin up a WordPress blog pretty easy and you could document your journey. And so just people can see what you're doing. And then what you're doing is you're, you're reinforcing what you're learning and then you're also teaching someone who doesn't know. And then I would also set up a GitHub account as early as possible and push code every day. So that was one of the things that helped me out. I was in a rhythm of doing like a kata a day and pushing that. So by the time the opportunity with PMC came, I kind of was had that pattern of pushing code every day. Even no matter how small it is or uh, how insignificant you may think it is, I think it's just good to push code every day when if you're going along this process of transition and just to just to build up that discipline 
if you want to join a boot camp, although although I, I I did join one, now that I look back on it, uh, they're good, they're good, <laughs> they're good. But uh, I think what's online and especially with uh, Chat GBT, although it's a little clunky sometimes, you could really still do self-taught path, which I think uh, I, I, I probably would recommend that more so. But if you're going to do the boot camp, I would say I would check out Career Karma. And um, they do a really good job at aggregating what boot camps are right for you. So I would definitely, if that's the route you want to go, um, I would I would also read the contract thoroughly. There's a lot of gotchas. That's, that's why... Uh, Career Karma kind of came into existence because it was it started to get predatory and then certain boot camps started changing their names and just to avoid all these kind of lawsuits they were getting into. So be very careful with that. But it, it was a great experience for me because I, I was able to get in the habits that um, software engineers in the field do, which is reading a lot of code. So that was a good experience. And also... Another thing I would recommend is be open to opportunities. Uh, like, for instance, I heard about WordPress. I could have listened to what people said and just was like, I'm not doing that. I'm going to just do JavaScript, React, React developer. You know, that's a, you know, that's the thing now. So, but I didn't. I kind of was like, hey, I'm, I'm intrigued. So I would definitely be language agnostic. And I would start freelancing as soon as possible just to build your portfolio up. You know, if your your mom needs a site, your dad needs a site, cousin needs a site, uncle needs a site, whoever needs a site, I would just do it just to get that experience. And I would do it with WordPress. If I knew better, if I knew WordPress was around, I would have done it with WordPress. But I digress. Uh, I want to say thank you to, I want to say thank you to the, the whole WordPress community. I think this, uh, Last year was my first work camp, and I just, I, everyone was so welcoming and still welcoming, and everyone has such different backgrounds, and it's, it's, uh, it's amazing. So I just want to thank the WordPress community. I want to thank Mike or Terry. You know, Mike is, I don't know, Mike is probably in a lot of people's stories. Uh, I want to thank Laura, Laura, Lauren Byrne as well. She's awesome. She's always encouraging me to to do things more, to get more involved in WordPress. I want to thank Jason. I want to thank the, the greater Montclair meetup as well. I got to Howard, of course. Sorry, Howard. I should have put your name in there, too. I uh, want to shout out also Black Press, which um, was was really helpful to me as well. Uh, I, I saw them. Actually, it was it was Michelle who I saw she was a member and I was like, let me check this out. And I checked it out and it was like, it was so, it was awesome. And uh, they were really helpful. Everyone, everybody was there. It's just, it's not just for if you have um, African American origin, everyone is in there. So I thought it was, I, I really benefited from, from them early on too. I want to thank Penske Media Corporation as well for giving me the opportunity and really giving me a chance to to be a part of their company. So that is that's my talk. But if anyone has any questions, I'll I'll take them. If not, oh hi. Oh that that was about let me see. So that was like twenty about three years. About three years, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Any any other questions? If not, oh. Um, I would I would say start as early as possible. I would say uh, so. What I did was I started doing uh, custom themes because I was 
once I got my my head wrapped around like HTML and CSS and JavaScript, then I started uh, playing with custom, like doing a custom theme from scratch and like converting an HTML like site I did vanilla and then doing it as a theme. That really helped because I was able to like touch PHP and uh, really see how the functions and methods work. So yeah, I would start. I'd start early as possible. I would yeah just I you know, just break stuff like I was I was uh just break stuff I was always scared to break stuff I was like oh I'm not, oh I'm not gonna do it oh oh no no oh no 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 just break it just just break it break it because then you'll ask questions so when you break stuff you'll you'll go to your meetup and you say hey listen I was working on this and this is broken can you you know how to fix this and oh this is what you do you know I do that I, I break stuff all the time I'm all like Mike. Mike, uh, I broke this. You, you know how to, you know. And Mike is, oh, easy. Bop, 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 bop. <laughs> so yeah, I would as soon as I would just as soon as possible just break stuff, play with it, and just have and have fun. That's the most important thing. It's like for me, I what I really enjoyed about WordPress was the creativity. Just coming from a music background, I liked I liked theme de in theme development. So I just was, you know. HTML and CSS and design, I really in, enjoyed it. So I just say just as early as possible, break stuff, ask questions, you know. And everyone here is so, uh, WordPress community is so knowledgeable. That's another thing too, like the whole not real devs. I, I think I met the most amazing software engineers in, in WordPress, like like hands down. They could do, they could do anything. They're like, MacGyver, I don't know. I'm dating myself. <laughs> I'm dating myself. I'm like dating myself the whole time, man. But um, yeah. So yeah, I yeah, I would just build stuff and ask because there's so so many like really knowledgeable people in the community. So question. Hey there. I got the mic. Uh, nice. <laughs> So I am Courtney Robertson. I am at GoDaddy Pro. I'm sponsored to contribute to the learn.wordpress.org website. So if you're on WordPress, at the top it says learn, go there. The team that I work with most contributes to that. Question for you. Uh, it sounds like in your journey to finding a boot camp, you found WordPress after that. Is that right? In your yeah. time frame? Okay. Did any of the boot camps that you were checking out mention WordPress beyond content marketing as part of their programming or their track. I say this because I taught at one and I'm seeing a, a need. There is a need. Uh, no. Okay. None of them mentioned it. Every, everyone was, so their, their thinking is, okay, like once they have that mind frame, PHP is a dead language, Java yeah. is old, yeah. Uh, yeah. C++, all of that, yeah. all of the enterprise uh you know technologies they they're like oh it's old you know react uh Mer the Mern stack mongodb yeah, yeah. all that stuff so that's what they're learning and then what winds up happening is people get out of the boot camp and no one is really hiring for that from a junior right so as part of that when i was instructing at a boot camp and i i was teaching the languages using WordPress, developing with WordPress. And, and, and we were using CARES Act relief money during COVID to do all of that. So my bootcamp leaders were not providing adequate PHP because PHP is dead. <laughs> right. Um, but also we were struggling because there were no official guidelines or resources that said, here is what an entry WordPress dev needs to have or to use or to be able to do. Because if you're full, if you're if you're going in through a boot camp and you come out as front end or back end, there are some pretty obvious pathways. But with WordPress, you need to be an inch deep full stack, and you need to have that PHP even if you're front end. Because if you're going to support a plugin or a theme, you need to know a little PHP, just enough to right. So I'm, I don't know if you've got thoughts on this, and I would love to connect more a little bit later. But I want to receive some of the feedback from the bootcamp side as well as um, the, the hiring side of what you're seeing or observing to help share that so that WordPress.org can help facilitate. 
here's what we need job pipeline wise and how to help get those jobs. Absolutely. That's yeah. a that's a great idea because I I definitely see that like like you said, a lot of times, you know, you would do a boot camp and it's, oh, full stack, but you're actually not. Whereas if you worked with WordPress, you are actually doing the full stack and you, you, you get real, you get leveled up really quickly because you're like, you're in it. Like with WordPress, you, you're in it. You have no choice but to be all in. There's not a separation of like a front end, back end. You're like, it's all together. So I would love to talk to you and definitely love that. Any other questions? What did you use for a platform for hosting? Um, you, did you just do it on your own? Oh, thank you. Hi there. Whoop. <laughs> uh, you just do it uh, locally on your own laptop, or did you go and get, you know, what did you buy to? So I used, uh, that's a great question. So to get started, there were so many great free resources. Uh, so for my uh, development, my local environment, I used VS Code. And uh, there's like a lot of extensions if you want to kind of see your work uh, live and spin up a server for you. But when I got into PHP, I mean WordPress, you know, there's, all, you know, there's MAMP and uh, local. I would recommend local because it's so easier, it's, it's much easier, if you, especially when you're starting out. And But initially, before I started working with WordPress, there's a couple of tools where you could get some, you could, uh, I forget the name, uh, where you could kind of host your website. It's not even really hosting, it's, you could, I forget the name of it, gosh. Um, Uh, no, it was uh, it it was in it was in, involved with WordPress. It was it was something where it was just basic HTML CSS. You could like if you wanted to do like a little portfolio site, you could just spin it up. I forget the name off hand. Um, also, GitHub has you could use GitHub to kind of host your website if you wanted to just do something basic HTML CSS. But I would recommend. If you, uh, for your developer environment, I do VS Code because it's free and there's like a ton of tutorials and especially if you want to develop with WordPress, which I mean, that's why we're here, I'd go with a local by Flywheel. It was really, I was like blown away by all the tools that, you know, every, you know, everyone, you, like WordPress is just so, you can make it as robust as you want or you could make it as simple as you want. So that's what I recommend. I hope I answered that question for you. Uh, probably. Anyone else has a question? If not, thank you for your, your time and enjoy the rest of WordCamp. <laughs>